what I think works really well, and I used a lot, particularly when I was younger, but I think anybody at any age can do it, is actually running around in a, a rectangle, a small rectangle, and going through your test pattern on foot. Obviously not in a full-size dressage arena, but in a smaller version with the letters or without the letters, if you're comfortable with what those letters are in the dressage ring. And going through your pattern on foot is actually one of the most effective ways of learning your dressage tests and getting familiar with your patterns. The best thing to do, honestly, is to walk them, especially before you start practicing it on your horse, because then you don't waste a lot of miles on your horse doing it wrong, to be quite honest. So practice the geometry of it, know exactly where you want to be at every point in the ring. That test is a single line. It starts on the center line, it halts at X, you can draw it with a pencil. So you need to know where that exact line is, even in a half pass. If you're half passing from like E to G, that's a direct line and you need to know exactly that line and walk that line. Then once you know the pattern and you've walked it enough, then you start practicing it on the horse and making sure he, you can keep him on those lines. I am still somebody with the letters down the center line. I every time have to look in a book to know where the letters are. So it's to me it's the position in the arena that I'm I understand which, where I'm going, maybe not the exact letter, what it is, but the direction that I'm supposed to go. The major decision you have to make is when you come down the center line, are you going to go left or right? So literally, uh, we used to put like a string on our left hand or our right hand to go turn right or turn, because then once you can make that first turn, then everything else kind of falls in place. So. You know, I'm actually really, really bad at learning tests. Um, so for me, I don't actually, I should never say this, but I don't really know the letters. I know <laughs> second to last letter, third to last letter, things like this. So for me, I'm, I'm a, a visual learner. I watch the test. I watch the test if it's not live, maybe on YouTube. Um, but I, I keep going over it. Um, you know, I, I think if you spend enough time at anything, you can get good at it. So I would just say keep studying the tests. For me, anyways, I do a lot of visualizing um, before I, I go to competition, so I do a lot of, um, you know, going over the test in my head and, and really visualizing each movement, each preparation for the movement. Um, I find that a very good way to, to both memorize the test, but also to really prepare yourself mentally for, um, for competition. This is a hard one because I think that uh, everybody learns in a different way. So I just suggest to people, you have to know how you learn, and then you have to put that into practice for your test. If you are able to compete at that level, then you should be confident enough, or what I t want my students to be, is confident enough that when they go to the show, they don't have to think about a million things in the ring. They need to be confident enough at that level that they actually have time to think also where they're going. And that's for me when people start going off course is when they're not confident enough in the actual test or the actual training that they're thinking of so many things at once to do that they also have to f they forget where they're going so I try and make them really confident before the show uh, that they then have the opportunity to remember a and just stressing the way they learn. I like to find a kind of quiet place that I can just read through the movement and then um, I also like to break it down into sections and I memorize sections of tests and I also memorize exactly how I'm going to ride each section not just the movement itself so if you have you know an extension or something like that how your horse needs it those particular cues that you're going to do I say okay in this corner as I'm going across the diagonal I have to do a half halt to ask for more engagement and wh whatnot whatever it is for your horse um, I also like to go to the actual competition arena that I'm going to compete in and use that to visualize and go through each test piece movement as well. For learning a dressage test, for me it's really important watching a lot of tests and then also repeat it in my mind and then again watching other riders while they are competing. So when you do a new test, of course it's important to repeat it a lot of times and also to ride it at home so you're familiar with your ways and also for the horse it's important that he knows where to go. So I like to ride it in my mind. Actually, that's very important. It always goes super when I do it.